Hey gamers! If you're fan Metroidvania, then you've come to the right place. Today, I'll show you best new Metroidvania games that you must notice more. I'm sorry I used text-to-speech in this video, because I've been sick for a few days. Alright then, without further ado, let's get started. Geno Panic is a pixel art Metroidvania adventure platformer game that invites players to explore a space station filled with secrets and dangers, engage in boss fights, solve puzzles in sci-fi research complex. The gameplay involves exploring the corridors of a space station, which are filled with secrets and dangers. Players will encounter boss fights, puzzles to solve, and other challenges as they navigate the complex. Players are also tasked with unraveling the enigma of dark matter and delving into DNA experiments in a cosmic adventure. Dragon Loop is a time travel Metroidvania action adventure game with a female protagonist and time manipulation RPG elements. In the game, you will play as she, a girl with the power of Ouroboros, and travel through a world with strange time changes exploring it for five days before the world's destruction. The game involves reincarnation, where players use acquired information and abilities to unlock new areas, defeat new enemies, and go back in time to understand the mistruth. The game is described as having a unique way of time. It's designed as a single-player, 2D side-scrolling indie platformer with a focus on storytelling and exploration. Emberbane is a pixel action platformer game that draws inspiration from the popular series Avatar, The Last Airbender. The game features a unique elemental system, where players can switch between these elements to adapt to different situations and enemies. The game promises epic confrontations and boss fights, demanding skill, strategy, and determination to conquer. The game's pixel art has been praised, and it is described as having a very style-switching, combo-chaining aspect without any auto-lock-on. I have to. Awaken, Astral Blade, is a side-scrolling action Metroidvania game that follows the story of Tanya as she navigates through mysterious ancient ruins to uncover her origins and destiny. The gameplay features elements of exploration, action RPG, side-scrolling, roguevania, hack-and-slash, and platformer genres. The story revolves around Loretta, a girl parasitized by an alien beast, as she attempts to uncover the truth about her fate and survive in the darkest place. The game also incorporates bullet-time combat and offers multiple endings based on the player's choices. Mariachi Legends is a deadly action platformer that combines side-scrolling beat-em-up gameplay with vibrant Mexican culture. The game features responsive, fast-paced combat that demands precise timing and reflexes, fighting against waves of enemies. Players explore vast, branching levels rendered in meticulous detail with beautiful pixel art, and can enhance their abilities with tarot cards or modify their gameplay experience with unique modifier. The gameplay in Mariachi Legends is described as fast-paced, combat-oriented, and peppered with flexible RPG mechanics that reward exploration and puzzle-solving with powerful new gear, crafting materials, cooking ingredients, and challenging alternate areas tied to the day-night system of the game. Blade Chimera is classified as a Metroidvania game allowing players to freely control their cursed sword to create new paths and explore the land. You will play as Shin, a demon hunter who has lost his memories and is on a quest to recollect them while battling demons with his transformed sword. As Shin recollects lost skills, his transformed sword, the Lumina Demon Lux, changes form, making him stronger and granting access to more areas of the world. The transformed Lumina Demon Lux plays a crucial role in the gameplay, changing form according to the will of its wielder, Shin, as he recollects lost skills. Really, really 
The Spirit of the Samurai is an action-adventure game set in feudal Japan and steeped in Japanese mythology and folklore. The game features stunning visuals, agile control, and smooth action combat with a variety of powers that can be evolved and upgraded throughout the game. The combat system is designed to be fast-paced and intense, with numerous combos and special attacks. The game also includes a character evolution system where characters grow stronger as players level up and complete objectives. Bua, Path of the Teal Lotus, is an upcoming game that combines elements of exploration, puzzle solving, and combat. Players assume the role of Bo, navigating a mysterious world inspired by Japanese folklore, where they must overcome platforming challenges with finesse. The game follows the story of Bo, who is tasked with a crucial role in an ancient and enigmatic ritual. The game features a mysterious and intriguing setting, with a focus on Bo's journey as he navigates through this world. The gameplay is showcased in various trailers and playthroughs, highlighting the game's visuals, sound design, and mechanics. Venture to the Vile is a 2.5D Metroidvania game set in the strange town of Rainy Brook, which has been overrun by a mysterious entity known as the Vile. The game features exploration, platforming, and combat mechanics, with a focus on overcoming challenges and unlocking new abilities. The game's narrative is influenced by the dynamic weather and day-slash-night cycle, which affects the characters, monsters, quests, and upgrades available. The player's choices can lead to multiple endings, with options to either help the people of Rainy Brook or venture out to discover the town's mysteries. Mira and the Legend of the Jinns is a classic Metroidvania-style game that follows the adventures of Yuba, a treasure hunter and explorer, and Mira, a mysterious jinn who has lost her memories. The combat system emphasizes fluidity and experimentation, enabling players to switch between different weapons and elemental modes. Each weapon is related to one of the four primal elements, representing the power and nature of gems, solar, celestial, infernal, and lunar. The game also includes a variety of tools and items that can be found and used to overcome obstacles, solve puzzles, and fight enemies. Deviate is a game that has generated significant attention due to its similarities to Hollow Knight and its focus on the deflection combat mechanic. The game is described as a 2D hand-drawn metroidvania with a core combat mechanic centered around deflecting attacks with precise timing. The game's development, visual style, and reception have sparked discussions and controversy within gaming communities. They have emphasized that they have been working on the game for two years and have shared early gameplay footage, expressing their enthusiasm for the project. Anima Flux is a co-op Metroidvania game with a dystopian sci-fi setting. The gameplay in Anima Flux involves fighting through swarms of enemies as two genetically enhanced soldiers, special agents of a theocratic dictatorial regime, in a co-op Metroidvania setting. The game features stunning hand-drawn animated cutscenes and dialogues full of irony, immersing players into the human world of the far future. The narrative explores moral and ethical issues, adding depth to the game's storytelling. Anima Flux incorporates a unique system where players can transfer their anima with the latest implant technology to trick death. Ender Magnolia Bloom in the Mist is a dark fantasy Metroidvania game set in a post-apocalyptic world. It is the sequel to the 2021 game Ender Lilies, Quietus of the Night. The game features a revamped battle system, allowing players to explore the world at their own pace and defeat enemies with the help of companions. It includes 30 different skills that can be acquired throughout the game, 
as well as the ability to collect equipment, relics, and items. The game offers an immersive experience with a revamped battle system that elevates gameplay and exploration beyond that of its predecessor. The game has received overwhelmingly positive user reviews, with praise for its mechanics, graphics, and soundtrack. Gushtalt, Steam and Cinder is a Metroidvania game that involves exploring a world filled with steam-powered machinery and ancient magic. The combat system in Gushtalt, nuanced and varied, featuring both close combat and remote shooting approaches. It allows players to master a range of melee combos and ranged attacks, making it a deep and engaging aspect of the gameplay. The game features a unique blend of exploration, platforming, and combat, with a focus on the protagonist's ability to manipulate Steam to solve puzzles and defeat enemies. The game has garnered attention for its mesmerizing art, varied combat system, absorbing narrative, and the ability to change the fate of the characters. Nine Souls is a 2D action platformer developed and published by Red Candle Games. The game features Sekiro-inspired deflection-focused combat and takes players on a journey of Eastern fantasy. The story follows a vengeful hero's quest to slay the Nine Souls, formidable rulers of a forsaken realm known as New Kunlun. The combat is fast-paced, with a heavy emphasis on skill rather than button mashing. Defending and deflecting strikes and other types of attacks play a big part in the combat, making fights rewarding and engaging. The game is set Taopunk environments, which blends cyberpunk elements with Taoism and features of Eastern mythology. And that's it for today. What do you think about this list? If you know best new Metroidvania games that you think deserve a spot here, feel free to tell us in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe this channel if you don't want to miss another amazing list. And as always, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.